We have a passing to know tonight. Esther Williams, a certified movie legend, and you can still see her splashing in those old movies on the cable channels. But something else she achieved ripples across the decades straight to today. This Hollywood star who put on sequins and swam like a torpedo. Don't be fooled by the red lipstick and the flower. Esther Williams was secretly one of this nation's top athletes, diving 50 feet and landing with precision right on the dime, swimming underwater over and over until she got it just right. Hello, sweetheart. We went to see her in 2007. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I, bet I hear that music, I'm back in the pool. She laughed about Hollywood and the secret of that perfect hair and mascara. It's fascinating. They would see me in the morning and they would say, here she comes. <laughs> Dipping their hand. Like Dipping this. their hand in the wet Vaseline and then <laughs> whap. <laughs> Esther Jane Williams was eight years old when she learned how to swim and qualified for the Olympics in 1940 but they got canceled because of the war. For an entire decade, she reigned as one of the biggest stars, even though that 50-foot dive from Million Dollar Mermaid put her in a body cast. It cracked her vertebrae as she hit the water. And in this scene, she got trapped in the clamshell, unable to breathe when it wouldn't open. I said, it's not time for me to go. And I worked it, and I opened that clamshell, and I swam out. She was also one of the first stars to turn a trademark, those bathing suits, into a big business. And in part because of her pressure, synchronized swimming became an Olympic sport in 1984. A determined pioneer for a lot of little girls who knew strength and daring when they saw it. And one of those little girls was a little girl in Louisville, Kentucky who remembers being inspired by her. And thank you, Ms. Williams, for our day at the pool.